Very cool. All right, so we've got user interface mods out the wazoo, which should help us. Uh, it's a little bit cluttered over here, but I still really like everything that's displayed because it gives me a really good idea on all of the things. So, yeah, we're going to keep it up. Police brutality. Wow, that's loud. Use of extreme force. Nah, we're going to allow the lower strata to rebel. Okay. So one of the things that we need to work on is, uh, let's go ahead and knock out a consumption tax. Uh, maybe not. Let's, oh, maybe not there either. Holy crap. We need to work on our everything. What's our market look like? We need more transportation. So we need to start building railroads. I don't even know that we have, we have to have railroads by this time. It's what, 1886? Yeah. So, I, I'm of two minds. I think we should work on some of these things, but I'm also kind of tempted to start working on the luxury items. We need to work on our opium as well for military reasons. But we also need more man of war, some artillery. So, we may start pushing on a focus to um, upgrade all of these things. Uh, but we really need to focus on some ammunition. So, what we can do... We have ammo, ammo, ammo. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Is this infrastructure? No, that's building level. Here we go. This is what I love about user interface mods. It's going to give me all the things that I need to do. Um, we have a ton of unemployed peasants in Hunda Vendigar. But what does it take for ammo plants? Takes explosives and lead. We have Southern Serbia only has a few places left for that, but do we got eight? We could do a munitions plant. What does that do for us? That's eight infrastructure. Is it really? There's no way that takes up eight infrastructure. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Three infrastructure. So we could build nine. Or we could build three, excuse me. And then we'll go ahead and build a railway. And while we're there, I would imagine that an arms industry probably consumes a lot of... Nope, that's tools, steel, and hardwood. So we're going to take a, a focus switch. And we're going to look and see where a lot of our hardwood is generated. Or our tools. Tools and steel, I suppose. So we have a lot in Bosnia and a lot in Hale. Which is down there. That actually wouldn't be a bad spot. Can Hale provide any other natural resources? It cannot. So it's kind of a dud. That wouldn't be a good idea. Um, but let's see, tools, steel, and hardwood. We have five steel mines in Bulgaria. Now Bulgaria has a few other things, but uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and build a... Um, or do I already have, I already do have arms industries there. We're gonna build three more. That will be enough. And we'll see where we go from there. Now, we have expensive government goods. We need tr uh, convoys, like a mother trucker. And we also need man of wars. So how do we make man of wars? We need more shipyards. Now, first of all, What does it take to make a man of war? I guess we could go to our shipyards building. That would be development, right? Nope, that's in here. A little bit rusty. Haven't played this in a while. Eastern Thrace. So this takes wood, hardwood, engines, and fabric. All of which, well, it's only really the engines and the fabric. So if we get more engines rolling... But we still need to expand productivity. That's the point. 
Free government reform. All right. So we have the Patriot Party. The Socialist Workers Federation. How you doing? Helloing. <laughs> uh, free trade. So... Patriot Party. We need the Socialist Workers. So let's reform... Well, let's see if we can get the... Parliamentary Republican first. It's coming up soon. So maybe we can get that done. And then, of course, we've got France trying to conquer more of... Uh, of Africa. I'm doing great. How are you? Doing pretty peachy overall. Yeah, I know we can do steel frame, but that's not going to help us. Inefficient agriculture. Yeah, we'll follow their advice. I'm okay with that. Let's get in good with Austria. Um, Spain? I don't know that it's Spain really matters. Ooh, Scandinavia was created. That, I haven't noticed that. I haven't really been paying attention very much, though. Mexico's not a threat to me. Portugal, not really. A snake has invested. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, if that's what you want to do. We'll do British Raj. There we go. That, that works for me. All right, so we've got loads of munitions uh, plants going in. So that should hopefully, hopefully help. Let's go, where is it? I guess they haven't been built yet. They're right there though. Egypt or Persia? We're gonna, we're gonna go to war with Egypt here soon. I need my nations back. Actually, I was gonna go to war with Persia, wasn't I? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got the 10th of May of 1888. And I want to go to war with Persia because, uh, where is it? Does that have opium? I don't think that has opium. Okay, I want Fars. I want Fars and I want... Uh, oh, crap. No wonder we're not having good market access there. There is no market access. Uh, railroads. Railroads? I've got five railways? Why aren't they contributing a lot? One, two, three, four. We'll do that. But anyways, I want FARS because uh, they have opium. And I want their opium fields. I don't think any of the other ones. Okay, so FARS and Loristan. That's what I want. I want FARS and Loristan next time we go to war with Persia. Because they have all the opium. And I want to basically take all the opium for myself. That's basically what. I'm wanting to do. Is an opium just poppy seeds? Yes. Right? But I need that. I've maxed out my opium here. Although I could get those down and be fine with it. But uh, I need my opium so I can go first aid. That 75% recovery rate is going would be just flipping flapping bonkers. I don't feel like losing 25 grand at the moment. Cool, trench works is done. We were going to do uh, dynamite. Yes, dynamite. So now what happens when I go here? Let's see. Skirmish infantry is 30 and 35. This is 40 and 60. That training rate is bonkers. But it requires a ton of ammunition. A ton more officers and a lot less servicemen. We're going to do it. So, we built that. The munitions plant's doing very well. And it will continue to do well. And then we've got an ammunition and ammo plant. Arms Industries, whatever the crap you want to call it. So let's see. We need more steel. We honestly need more tools and hardwood as well. Sultan has missed the cabinet meeting of his government. Cabinet members are unable to come to a conclusion on how to proceed.
Printed in the press. Yeah. A hundred percent next time. If we don't start a revolution. Check your ammo market price. Yeah. So, like, I have ammo coming in. I just need to make, I just need to make more of it. Is basically what it is. But at the same time, like, Persia just doesn't have anything, as far as I know. Oh, they're in the customs union with Russia. They're still paying war reparations. They have a truce with me until the 10th of May. Shift work. 20 economy of scale building level cap. Very cool. <sighs> Wars what? United States of America versus Russia? What? Where is this happening? That's Canada. Our truce is seven years? I'm not sure. I don't remember last time I had a... Nice. Well done, kiddo. North German Federation. Yeah, they're in a war. That's weird. But, like, the U.S. is gearing up. That's fine. Fight those wars. Uh, it's, it works for me because... Oh, I can't beat... I actually can't get into a war with Russia... Or with these guys yet. Yeah, because I'm already in... A war, technically. There. I'm wondering if I shouldn't just help him. Because that's a long war. In the making. Um, why are these guys, why is their morale so low? Hmm, that's different. We're going to distribute them. Get that, get that legitimacy bumped up. Yeah, I might just go navally invade. That's a lot of guys who are not currently happy. Change naval theory production to Jeune Ecole. Okay, I'm fine with that. Ironclads. It means I would need to start making ironclads, which I could totally do, I'm pretty sure. Go look at our barracks. Or our uh, shipyards. Could make steamships, but I'm not just going to switch everything over to it. Eastern Thrace is working on a lot. Let's go ahead and make them steamships. All right, we got somebody capitulated. It's not really on us. Ports. Industrial ports. Would give us a ton. But we need a ton more clippers. Like just a boatload of clippers. I don't know if we're ready for that yet. Don't know that we're ready for that yet. We need uh, more shipyards to crank out more clippers. So, uh, Trebizon, what you got? What you got, Trebizon? 42? Okay, so we built just a ton of shipyards. So now we have Man of Wars, and we have Clippers, which are super cheap. Well, that's fine, though. Because we can start pushing our ports a little bit at a time. What's our what's our what's our low? We have 294 clippers total. So what we can do is we can start going to our ports, our shipyards. No, that's our shipyards. We don't want shipyards. We need our ports. Start going towards industrial ports. At a minimum, 
Everyone should be at a cargo port. Maybe we should just have everyone go cargo ports. That's going to give us so many clippers. For trade routes. There we go. There we go. Which will end up actually making us money. Despite how much extra it's going to cost. Because uh, the amount that we gain is good. Alright, now when it comes to back to our market, we do have our military goods. We need a ton of ironclad. Everything else we're actually overproducing, which is perfect. Um, let's see, what do they want? A trade agreement with the North? Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. I don't have any... Um, Tariffs anyways, because of my market price. We need ironclads. And ironclads are produced in a shipyard. So let's go to our shipyards. You are making steamers. There it is. That's what we need. Extensive military shipbuilding. That really gonna make us that much money? Those are our ironclads, which is perfect. Exactly what we need. There we go. I mean, we just we already solved it. Now we just got all these luxury things, which we can also replicate. Uh, we can totally do. Let's see, fruit, tea, and wine, coffee, and opium. Fruit we can do. Uh, we have 93 here. Yeah, let's do this. This is solely fruit. Yep. What is the best method? Let's rail transportation that. Oh, we're out of stuff to build there. Okie dokie. Never mind. Okay, that's fine. We've already built everything we can build there. Here is T. We need 800 T. This makes 20 per level. So we need 40, but I can't do 40. Um, this is what, one each? Is it really five? It's, oh no, it's five urbanization plus one infrastructure usage. That's what I thought. Okay, so we can build 12. There we go. Can you also make T? Yeah, and you've got a lot. We need 40? I think 30 will do it. And then, let's see. So that's 30. That's 57. Let's build 20 of those. All right. We're about to have a revolution on our hands, which is fine. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not afraid of a revolution. We need to knock down the petite bourgeoisie and the Sunni Lemmy anyways. Just to completely make them marginalized. I guess they are already marginalized. Bring it on, man. Just bring it on. Let's go with... I don't want something that'll take four years. We could do sea lane strategies. To do monitors. Ooh, that might be good. Or the self-propelled torpedoes. War propaganda is just conscriptable. We don't worry about conscription right now. We'll do open hearth process. Leads to electric art process. Burn out the impurities from pig iron. And thus allow it to turn into steel. Very cool. That works for me. And then we'll get some more steel things going. But we're about to have a revolutionary. But you know what? That should be not... Oh, be... okay. No, that's fine. Well, while we're doing that, let's see. We need mines, right? We can use our investment pool on mines, forestries, oil extractors, infrastructure, whaling, and fisheries. So let's take a look here. I have a huge surplus of wood. Um, I have a big deficit in coal. Iron is doing just fine.
let's get some coal industries running. I have a question about the different types of battles, sea, ground, etc. Doesn't it look does it look like CK3? No, not really. Uh, it's a lot different. And you'll see it in uh in a few days. See it in a few days. But uh Yeah, we've already got France on our side. But no, it's not it's not bad at all. I actually I do enjoy it. I mean, it once you understand a bit more about the the battles, it all kind of makes sense. Um, there is a lot that is hidden. I will 100% say that, though. So it's not as easy. Got generals and stuff? You do. Yep. So you have to recruit them. They all have their own interest groups. You have uh, all sorts of things you have to consider for it. Um, yeah, it's... There is a lot. There's a lot that goes down for it. So even just prepare for a war. I would almost be willing to let someone take on my debt. I don't think anyone wants to take on eleven and a half million dollars of debt, though. Let's go with industry. I want to go. Honestly, I need railways. I do believe there are a few people like these guys. And then you guys are getting close. Basically, what I'm trying to do here is future proof because I'm technically using my investment pool to build everything. You understand I haven't procured it yet. Bought the HK Diplocacy. Oh yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna try um definitely gonna try humankind here um soon. There are definitely plans for it. Man alive. Yeah, we're gonna go default. Um I'm gonna go ahead and push my men. This might be over with quickly. Honestly can't say one way or the other. In theory, we have just a stupidly overpowerful army here, so. And I should be able to win in most places. Unfortunately, my superior army is repelling the French. Oh crap, what happened here? Are they finally just reinforcing in the right spots? 152 offense against 88 defense. The French are even getting pushed back there. Crap, France. You let me down. We're already pushing them on that front. Decadent priorities. Trade unions have questioned the morality of importing luxuries while the high price of grains cause concern. Yeah, we'll set up a grain import. That's fine. Grain has gotten crazy high. There you go, did it. I think the tables are about to turn. Yeah, they can't stand up to my bow. Uh. There you go. Is he gonna get there yet? Okay, no generals. What happened to him? Oh, he's fighting in that front. Okay. Yeah, we should start seeing uh, everything go down now. Man, 2.97 million. I gotta do it. I just, I've got to start. I have to take advantage. I have so much in there. Manufacturing, mines, forestries, rubber plantations, oil extractors. We're just going to pump into the, the steel industry. 
I mean, if we can, if we, if it only requires an explosives, okay, chemical plants. And so be it, man. Like, just go, do it. <clears throat> we have three million dollars that we can use. Yeah, and these guys are finally going down. Good. Oh crap, we lost that. We're losing on that front too. Get there and take that little bit. Eventually, they'll all just join up and we'll have kicked the guys out of uh, the entirety of northern, uh, northern Turkey. Don't know what's happening here. Is it just the reinforcements just that awful? I think so. Okay, we've got two guys here. They'll conquer that stuff pretty easily. Okay, so we are still massively in default. Welfare payments are hemorrhaging us. We may have to repeal welfare payments. We might have to. Another revolution is brewing. Are you kidding me? Well, let's do this. Buildings. We have line infantry already. So I'm not care concerned about that. I don't want to dump 57,000 laborers, though. Well, here we go. Why have I not been doing this the whole time? Atmospheric pump. I mean, that doesn't kick people out, does it? It does kick... No, it fertilizers doesn't kick people out. Logging camp, sawmills, everyone goes sawmills, fishing wharves, steam trawlers. Oh, wow. No, that's fine, because that'll increase the uh, all of our shipyards and stuff as well. So We'll get out of this mess. Electrical capacitors have been unlocked. Yeah, we just need to focus on all the things. Oh, it's women's suffrage that's doing it. Fine. That's fine. But we're going to repeal the poor laws. I mean, the best way to counter this stuff is just to kill everyone. So, if that's what they want to do. <sighs> all right. Tell you what, it does kind of feel like everything's falling apart. Not gonna lie. There we go. There we go. Yeah, just get them in from behind. Take them from behind. Yeah, that's right. Dug it. Eventually, they'll bring someone in, right? Maybe not. Um, go advance this one. 26 days. I'm okay with that. Yeah, because, oh, they finally brought someone in. Nope, they sure didn't. Or maybe they did. Interesting. You know what we could do while we're at this? I mean, we might if we're going to hemorrhage everything, we might as well do it. The right way. We can recover our people faster. 
then we can we can do all the things okay once we get these guys officially pushed out we should be good i can start pushing into other areas we are going to hold this front <clears throat> for now and soon we have the capabilities Mehmed Ali Pasha. So there's a lot of unknowns about battles at the moment. Actually, they, they're, we're starting to figure it out, but it's not because of Paradox teaching us. So essentially, you have different fronts. Now, as you can see here, we have several fronts in our war. And we think we've got, what, five? One, two, three, four, five. Possibly six. So you can assign your generals to mobilize them and advance them towards a front with only currently three different actions of attacking, defending, or standing by. Standing by, they go back to their HQ. But essentially, if you advance or if some, one of them advance, you can see here the offense and defensive stats. And this is kind of the battle breakdown. So you'll see what's going on here. Now there's a lot more going on and why I'm losing despite having overwhelming their defenses. That's because I have less men than them. And while I am recovering, they are recovering too. So just because you have more of offense and whatnot, doesn't mean that you're always going to win. Now as for the details on why a certain battle only put two battalions or three against 30, there's an element of random RNG in there, but that's not 100% certain. Um, it's a little bit wonky, I'm not going to lie. And it's one thing that they really need to change in order for us to get true enjoyment out of the game. Oh, French, French, French. You need to get with the program, man. Get with the program. How you doing, monkey? Oh, my word. We're not in a great shape whatsoever. Okay, now let me do it. We've got a bigger and better army. There we go. Okay. Anyone else want to rebel? I mean, we're at that point now where if you're just going to do it, let's just get it over with. The Patriotic Party has the biggest and best clout in the program. We've got 92 legitimacy. There's nothing going on here that I want to change. We have an unhealthy economy. Several places with low market access. We were working on railways and everywhere, but... Okay, so what we got to do is government wages are out of control. I save 20 grand there. 10 grand there that might make the interest groups not so happy with me we have interventionalism very cool which means everything correct everything Ugh. okay let's take a look at our military stuff real quick we need man uh man of wars we have ironclads we have enough and you want to know what you want to know what guys hold on Hold on. Pump jacks, automatic irrigation. Let's do that. But, but, oh, I don't. Never mind. <sighs> well, we do. We, it's mostly for everyone. Okay. No, well, we got, we got recovery rate going for a lot of our people. Bump up to baking powder. Um, let's do fruit canneries for now. We're going to change to patent stills because that gives us a lot of liquor and we really need the liquor. And we're going to publicly trade. Uh, we're going to have everyone go there. As much as I would love... Yeah, let's reduce the, yeah, let's get luxury clothing. 
mechanized looms, and we're also going to publicly trade that. Furniture. Can I do mechanized workshops? We're going to crank out a ton more. What are precision tools? It makes less, but it gives us a ton. Of yeah, let's do that. I'm fine with that too. Boiler increases the amount of laborers, which is great. Paper mills. Yeah, we'll work on that. I'm not going to worry about that part. We'll privately own those guys. Uh, improved fertilizers. We'll go ahead and work on that too. Steel mills. Yeah, let's get some engineers and stuff in. Shipyards. I can't make that switch yet, unfortunately. Can't do any of that either. Arms Industries. Repeater rifles may be the better tool for us to use there. And we're definitely going to use breech loaders, and I'm going to public trade that too, so that way they'll start investing. Urban centers. We'll just do market squares. Gas street lights. We're not going to worry about public transportation. The arts. We're going to do realistic art, and we're going to do independent artists. Everyone's going to the standardized filing system as well. Now, as for rural, sawmills. Steam trawlers, absolutely. And we can't really do much else. Oh, we'll still be okay on those fronts. Yeah, let's do condensing everything. Steam donkey, I'm fine with. I think we really need that. Barbed wire, for sure. What does that do? So, I just saw that it increased stuff. What does barbed wire do? Oh, it just reduces the number of, of people. No, I'm fine with standard fences. I still have to keep people employed. I'm not going to worry about those things. We're going to use fertilizer. Okay. Oh my word, I forgot about all of this. Yeah, we're publicly traded there, too. I want everyone possible to be. Okay, let's see what this does. How are sea battles? Sea battles are incredibly basic, and they don't really... You're only able to really do them, of course, during wartime, but it doesn't seem to have a huge effect. That's a lie. It has a huge effect, if you use it right. But it's getting to that point that's uh, a little difficult to understand. Boiler explosion. Machines are dangerous. Okay, well, our systems <clears throat> seem to have really, really helped. Yeah. Got our banana plantations making a lot of stuff. Come on. I forgot you were mine. Uh, let's get those guys rolling. Which will... Let's see, that's 6, so that's 30? We'll build that there. That'll give us more than enough coffee to where prices will plummet. Maybe we have to go back to earlier tech when it comes to street lights here. And then gas street lights as gas is also restricted. That's true. But, wait, why do we have this place? I don't remember having this place. That's weird. Very weird. Alright, well, we've got loads of stuff making. Loads of stuff making stuff. We do have some with it. But we've actually knocked a lot of this stuff down to reasonable levels. It's really the luxury things that we have to consider now. 
which is great. And again, the reason, half the reason why I want to invade Persia. We don't have any interest groups of marginalized anything. So um, that are an issue. So what we can do, quite a few solar powered streetlights. It would be really cool if you could invest in some future tech over here. Um, diplomatic plays. I want to conquer Fars. Is excuse me. Yeah, I want to do Fars and I want to do Luristan. Yes, because they have it. Yep. So let's go with a diplomatic play. We're gonna conquer Fars. Persia, Russia. Yeah, I'm fine with all of that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a war goal of conquering. Laristan. That's all I want. And I do want war reparations against Russia, Persia, and make Persia a puppet. Well, no, because I still want to conquer more of their stuff. We could liberate Ukraine. Ooh, we should probably do that. Well, let me see here. Le what does Russia's market look like? I wonder where their grain's coming from. So if we liberated Ukraine, let's do that. Let's make a real interesting power play. Liberate Ukraine. And we'll be good there. Pump jacks. Automated irrigation for a lot of our stuff. So that's perfect. Let's go into our military. And let's get... Defense in depth would actually be really good. Sixteen months plus thirty percent army defense. All right, let's mobilize. We're gonna push on this front. That's fine. Can you close the door, please? Thank you. We're gonna push here, and then the rest. We're gonna push there. <clears throat> All right. So the real interesting thing: can we sway any countries? We could sway the North German Federation. What do we need to do? <clears throat> they want to stand. What? They don't want anything from Russia? <clears throat> um... Sure. There we go. The real question is, will they take it? Nice, they joined. Very cool. All right, this will be an interesting war. Now Russia has to face the... No, they've got multiple fronts. Very cool. Nice. That's really going to help us gonna help us a lot the real question is are we losing men already on this front no we are okay well crap. let's go back home yeah they've got a lot they've got generals all right, this is going to be a fun war. Russia's got to worry about multiple fronts, so. Sucks for them. All right. All right. All right. In the Armchair Historian's Fire Maneuver game. I didn't know it was free. That is very interesting. Yeah, we got to work on our timing for this stuff. Man, if we can push Russia. Come 
Come on, Germans. You gotta win. There we go. I mean, we need to push. That's the most crucial place we need to push into anyways. Inefficient agriculture. We, of course, do migration in that area. Okay, so that first round, they... Uh, Russia pretty much won overall. Oh. Oh. We don't stand a chance. Combat system is awful. I don't mind it. I, I it, it would make... It wouldn't be as bad if I understood why X number of troops were in X region for X battle. Outside of that, I actually really do enjoy the, the combat system. No, you know what we can do? No, no, no. Watch this. Let's go military, navy. I've got a nice convoy here. We need another admiral. Naval commander. Perfect. We need to promote him. So he gets his full 31. We are going to navally invade Ingria. That's going to make things go much better. With uh, Talat Posle. So, the goal there, we've done this before. Is that we are going, their forces, in theory, are all going to be pushed onto all of these fronts, defending all of the things. We should, emphasize should, be able to navally invade, take their capital, which will cause some major, major issues across the board. Uh, let's go ahead and take... I want to see if this naval invasion will work. And apparently there's a naval battle going on. This is one of the things that doesn't make sense. It shouldn't be a naval battle. Either the icon's wrong or something. We just swept the uh, Russian Navy. So that's a positive. <clears throat> yeah, that wasn't even like a joke. That was... Come on. Come on, we got to push into it. All right, so we'll have a successful landing unless something goes terribly wrong. And then we've just pushed another front into there. And uh, they're going to have to figure out what to do. Because they will have their back end open to us. Yeah, that'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Because once we get in there, we'll have a full 25 battalions, I think. Come on. Knock them out. Perfect. And now we're advancing the front. And it's not going to be much of a battle. Yeah, they're going to start decaying fast. Oh, brilliant. I love it. Okay, now the Russians are here. And they are not happy. But that should give these guys the opportunity to push. Okay, good. Okay, that's fine. We'll just pay attention to them, to that front. But now that they're there, they're going to... I mean, that's the thing. They, they're spread a little too thin. And wait for that battle to end. And then we're just going to defend it. Because we don't exactly have the capabilities of taking it on. <clears throat> yeah, we're beating those guys back too. Man, overall, this has been quite the successful little uh, place here. You can also see... Where we've had some some wars. Actually, I think these are revolutions. Where our population technically did. Now, we should be able to very much defend in this battle. We have a huge... Huge... 
advantage here. Oh, but we don't have the people. <clears throat> okay. Well, we'll have to see, I guess. Steel railway cars. Where are we at? We're over here. Come on. One more week. Okay. Fars, Laristan, the Persian War reparations. Now we have to fight against China. Okay, I don't remember that being part of the deal, but okay. Now while we're here, we are going to... Ah, uh, railways. One, two, three, because that's 60. We'll do 80. And then I'm literally just going to spam all of that stuff. <gasps> I didn't grab the one that I wanted. There's two Laristan... Oh my word, there's Laristan and Loristan. Kidding me. That's fine because like, you can use the coal and stuff. I don't even need coal. Dang. Wasn't paying attention and they debated me. That's very rude. Okay, so we have military people. Uh, we're going to let them recover, right? They're at home. In theory, they should be recovering. Maybe because we have that 20% attrition. I bet that's it. Excuse me, I didn't mean to smack that. So we have 20% attrition. And maybe our recovery just isn't enough. That's what it is. Well, no, that's a 75% recovery rate. We're making just crap tons of opium. Should be making crap tons of opium. Socialism has been unlocked. Police brutality, we're not going to worry about that. That being said, should be able to get to a level 5 and still be fine. Private health insurance. Hmm. Yeah, we don't want to do any of this yet. Nope. All right, so we're pushing those guys. We're, we, yeah, we should win this war. Don't know why we wouldn't. Liberate Ukraine, Russian war reparations. That's a huge chunk. That is a huge chunk away from the Russians. And now what do we got to do? We have to invade China? We do have to invade China. Well, crap. Okay, let's uh, let's invade. We're gonna do two places at once. We're going to go to Outer Manchuria. Then we're gonna go to Sindh. We'll do Nazim. All right, let's see how this <laughs> works. And now that we've got all that going as well, we can erase. Consumption taxes. Um, we can raise some taxes there. Or I guess raise some wages, rather. Yeah, once we get all these, uh, once we get all these opium factories made, we'll be we'll be right as rain. We will have a surplus, hopefully, of. Of opium. That's the hope. <clears throat> Sweet, we're beating back the. Oh no, we're not! No! Oh, it's going back and forth. And I think we're fighting. Yeah, we're fighting uh, regular, not regular troops. Line infantry. China only has line infantry. They shouldn't stand a chance. Like, regardless of the number of troops that are being thrown at us, they shouldn't stand a chance. Yeah, 
Yeah, the North Germans are just going to run over. Oh no, the Chinese are running over them. Oh crap. Oh, that, that isn't even us. This is us. I forgot that. Okay, so we got repelled by the Chinese. That's okay. The French, I think, are getting a stronghold though. And we are getting a stronghold on Sindh. So once we get Sindh out, we can re apply the pressure to another front in China and dole out that madness. If France can just keep a stronghold on it, we'll be good. Booming industries. Yeah, we're not going to worry about that at the moment. Following war goals were enforced on the North German Federation. I do want to make sure that they get their war goal, though. Like, that's very important to me. There we go. All right. Well, that was interesting. Did we not build railroads here? Don't tell me I built everything there. Those guys are fine. I did not build railroads here. Why can I not? Did I just not see it? Need to build five. All right, well, we aren't too far behind. I bet we could knock Italy down. But they do have just a ton of battalions. And I bet most of those battalions are going to be trench warfare bros. Um, if they are French or er, um, French infantry. Yep, that's what I thought. However, I feel like Ukraine or uh, Russia has been knocked down a bit. And Ukraine... would uh, certainly make them good for some good stuff. Uh, I think I will stick with this. I do need to continue to make money. And I don't know that these places... Oh, they do! Hey, hey Kiva, do you, would you like to be navally invaded? I guess I actually can't get to it. It's me or them, the re leader of the ruling industrialists has had enough of compromising. It is collaborators follow his orders or industrious will never approve of their changes. No, oh, what a ridiculous thing to say. Who are you to determine what goes on with that sort of thing? What is this? Parak and the British Republic. I'm going to declare my neutrality again. I'm not going to be in that. Propertied women should pass. There we go. Workforce ratio. All right, so our quality of standard of living has not been too bad. We need a ton more furniture, a ton more clothes, loads of transportation. That's what our railways do, correct? I mean, they provide transportation. We just need a lot more of it. So let's go ahead and just invest in that, shall we? <clears throat> now let's go... Uh, no, not you. Yes, you. Who is running low? Okay, so we've got the Patriotic Party, the Freedom and Accord Party. Yeah, the Freedom and Accord Party. Well, what about this? I need to get out of that and get into proportional. I need trade unions. So the trade unions have to come in here. The question is, who do I kick out? I really don't want to kick out the patriotic party. The industrialists need to be in there. The intelligentsia, kicking them out would be bad news bears. But at the same time, I'm going to have to do that. Uh, we're going to get out of per capita, and we're going to get into proportional. 
And we're going to basically do everything that we can. <clears throat> Russia wants to take the Croatian uprising. What? Oh, Austria. 398 troops. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go into buildings or maybe states. All right, who has a lot of unemployed people? Eastern Thrace has a lot. Azerium. Basra. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Okay. Oh, no. I'm an unemployed. I was like, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Aiden has a lot. We can't build anymore. That's a conscription center, you dingleberry. There we go. We'll drain the investment pool and we'll be okay. Billy Monger, aka Warmonger. Oh, okay. I'm not aware of that, uh, that stuff. Trade routes need convoys. All of our trade routes need convoys. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, you are correct. <clears throat> Produced by port buildings required to operate shipping lanes. Well, what we can also do is just build as many ports as possible. I mean, at this point, I don't think anyone could be like, hey, this isn't a smart idea. Let's just build all the ports. All the ports we can. We have nothing, uh, nothing really else to worry about at the moment. So, what if we did this instead? Give me all of my ports up front so we can have a huge expanse. The positive thing about ports is they don't count against your infrastructure. They actually enhance it even more. Uh-oh. Oh, why are we ranked that? 25 from the country tier of empire, gross domestic product. Army power projection, Navy power projection. Looks like Austria's actually gone down. Is, where's the UK? Oh, they're the British Republic, okay. That's interesting, that's a weird move. Yeah, we're just gonna build loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of barracks. Let's just do iron frame only. That's fine. I'm okay with the reduction. I'm very okay with it. The investment pool should include all of that stuff. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't include military things. I'm okay with that. Let's see. What do we got with Persia? We have to wait till 1898. So we only have three years. I'm wondering. 194. We have a larger army than they do. We're also making more product than they are. Press the radical Croatian succession. Okay. Okie day. What is their diplomacy like? They have a couple of defensive pacts, including one with China. That doesn't make sense. Uh, they have an alliance with Tunis. They have a rivalry with Italy, or, uh, British Republic, France. So, like, if I went to war with them... I went to war with them. I wonder if I could win. Take a look here. Italy is 350. 
I bet I could convince. I bet I could convince them to go to war. We won't do that just now. Uh, I could definitely go to war. Aniline, synthetic plants, and art silk. Okay. But we could do this. We could uh, ask to return all of our states. We would have only allies. I feel like that would be a good idea. Now, we have our own. I want all of my states back. I want all of them back. We'll see what happens. I bet Russia will end up joining. But I also think that uh, Russia is not in the best of places right now. And as a result, they may not be able to. Oh crap, I'm infamous. I didn't think about that. Trade agreement with Ukraine, absolutely. Um, why won't they do that? If I could owe them an obligation, would they do it? Infamy level is infamous. Amicable? Well... You know what? They're not far from being in a customs union with me. How hilarious would that be? Uh, let's declare a rivalry with Russia and a rivalry with Italy. I'm really confused. Uh, I'm also going to... Okay, I can't embargo them. I mean, I'm already going to go to war with Egypt, so I don't really feel like I need to do all of that. Let's go with our army. We are going to mobilize. <clears throat> I'm going to slap that guy there. I'm going to mobilize. Put some guys there. Mobilize. And then we'll like defend that spot. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. We will be okay. The war. Sweet. War broke out. Temporary embar embarrassment. Ambitious middle strata citizens are opposing on the grounds that when they become wealthy, they will be extensively hacked. Sway them with the tax cut. I want to get this proposed and done with. Independent nations are no walkover. Nice. Good. Always good to hear. Okay, they're being repelled. Let's go... No. Let's see. Yeah, no, that's fine. Forty four days. What's going on? Okay, there we go. Push. Push, lads. Nice. Yeah, this will be a cakewalk. We may lose a lot of people, but it will definitely be a, a cakewalk. Yeah, we've already lost way too many people. Turkey's attrition. Our attrition alone. 
has caused problems. Will be migration. Bring it on. Just want to know what that spike is again. Dangerous. We're okay, but it's just dangerous. Urbanized Turkey. Yeah, we're not. We're not there. Brilliant. That's also brilliant. Look at that. They just, they have, they stand no chance. They just don't stand a chance. They're taking that over. We're going to have people here in a few days. Take it over. We've got battles going on in the south that they can't handle. Oh, and then France is coming in from the south-south. Because they own half of Africa. <laughs> what do you got here? Radical Greece versus Greece? I didn't know Greece was still a nation. Oh, they've got that little place. That's right. Forgot it. And we're still going to beat them back because they just don't have the capabilities. All right, well, that's nice. We'll end the stream once this war is over with. And everything will be uh, right as rain. Do they just not have an army anymore? They were trying to recruit, but it's not working. Yeah, we'll definitely be done after this. It's uh, not pretty out there from what I'm hearing. All right. Unhealthy economy. I realize I have an unhealthy economy. We have lots of market access issues, but we're, we're, we're working on that. So I'm not super concerned about it because that's pretty much all that this stuff is. It's ports and it's railways, and we're going to have no market issues for a very long time after this is done. I wish I could just go to here, but I cannot. Rubber rush. Uh, let's go discover resources in the rubber plantations. Okay, that's down here. So we have rubber now? We do. Nice. Where are our unincorporated states? We're also going to take a break once these five ports get into. The... Nice. Oh, City of Plenty, let them celebrate. So we're going to do... Come on. There we go. Two weeks. One more week. One more week. And then we're going to let our economy stabilize, basically. All right. Now that we're hemorrhaging, we can find out where our hemorrhages are. And that's something that we can work on in the next week. For sure. We may have a few too many soldiers. Um... Development conscription centers. Infantry focus. We'll just do that. Wound addressing. Repeat boats are not where it's at. Okay, let's address just a couple of things real quick. We can go with sewing machines. 
We can do mechanized workshops. We can do crystal glass. We don't need to do any of those things. Public transit would not be good. Bump up there. Answer if you love the game. Oh no, I love it. It is absolutely replayable. Oh, like 100%. Even in its not fantastic state, it's still a fantastic game. Now we're going to go fertilized. I am going to do steam power threshing machines. And the only reason I'm doing it that way is because I really, really need... I need the boost to income. I just do. All right, let's go. No, we need electricity. We can't afford that. Let's see what happens when we do that real quick. Doesn't seem to be having a huge impact. Sugar beet. No, we definitely don't want to mass um, mess with all that stuff. I'll do intensive fig orchard. Okay. We'll come out of it. I want to wait real quick. Let's see. 14th of September. Let's see if proportional taxation goes through. We'll sway them with the tax cut and try again. Ladies and gentlemen, you are magnificent. If you like anything you see here, you can, of course, uh, do all the things over there. Thank you very much, Wolf, for hanging out with me today. And all you other folks. I'll see you all tomorrow.